U.S. Air Force has finally received its first all-new F-15 Eagle fighter jet in 17 years. On March 11, the F-15EX flew from Boeing's facility in St. Louis to Eglin Air Force Base in Florida alongside its two older siblings, the F-15C Eagle and F-15E Strike Eagle fighters. The new warplane will join a testing and evaluation squadron at Eglin. The U.S. Air Force's newest fighter jet, the F-15EX Eagle II, recently hit a significant milestone it fired a weapon for the first time. The jet, which is assigned to the 40th Flight Test Squadron, let loose an AIM-120D advanced medium-range air-to-air missile in pursuit of a BQM-167 target drone while flying over the Gulf of Mexico on January 25. The missile released during the Combat Archer Air-to-Air Weapons System Evaluation Program marked the first time a weapon was fired from this type of fighter aircraft and came after over six months of developmental and operational flight testing. It was also the first live fire shot for the experimental test pilot Major Benjamin Nauman, who flew with Major Mark Smith. Nauman said the shot was another important step towards fielding the aircraft to combat units. The plane also has the ability to carry future hypersonic weapons and features a new and slash APG-82 radar, integrated electronic warfare suite, Eagle passive slash active warning and survivability system, enhanced fly-by-wire controls, and an all-digital cockpit with flat screen displays and touch panels. This new batch of F-15 fighters could easily serve for 35 years, which means the Eagle may become the longest continuously serving fighter of all time with a lifespan of an astonishing 82 years.